Hello and welcome to another episode of Power BI Abstract Thesis series and in today's video we are going to discuss one Power BI feature which has been released in the month of November 2023. In November 2023 the feature of Dex Query View has been released an additional tab on the left hand pane has been added for Dex Query View and this feature will allow you to run Dex Query directly from Power BI desktop. You don't need external studios for that. Release notes of November 2023 talks about this feature, but very recently a detailed article has been given on blog.powerbi.com or powerbi.microsoft.com slash enus blog. We are going to look into the article as well as we are going to play around with the Dex query view in Power BI desktop. Let's quickly have a look at the blog. As you can see, though, as a first thing, the various components have been explained. So we have the data pane here. We have the quick measures option. We have the command bar here, ribbon. Dex query view access via the fourth view option, the fourth view option, which we are going to check out in some time. Dex query editor, which is this portion and the result grid, which is the this particular section. And then we can have query tabs. We can have multiple queries. How Dex query view is going to help us out uh, has been described in this blog quick queries from the data pane to make it easy to create Dex queries. Direct model author can use Dex query view, new major authoring workflow. We will see how can we create new majors directly from here. See Dex query of the visuals, create your own Dex query. Now, those of who are from the Power BI world and never used Dex studio, uh, you might not have seen the use of evaluate. Now what happens when you want to evaluate a query in the Dex view or in the Dex studio, you require evaluate and then you write down evaluate and a query, a Dex query typically should return a table. So all every time we trying to bring in a Dex query, we try to return a table and then you say evaluate and the expression which returns us a table and that's how you get it. Now, if you want to create something new or you want to define majors, then you use the define keyword where you can define the majors. Now, these majors are defined in the context of that particular query. So let's read out the definition from here. Evaluate, evaluate, which is required that specific what data you want to see. Define, which is optional that can specify a major or named DEX formula to use in the DEX query. This major can already be in the model or not. If already exists, you can make changes that only apply to the DEX query to try them out. You can also have the option to update the model with these major, which we will get into more details later in this blog. So in this blog, they have shown you how can you save the changes in the major and we are going to experiment with that also when we are going to take the practical examples. Now, one example has been given for a Dex query. Summarize column is one thing which returns a table and that is how we can use it. If you go down, more examples have been given. Also, equivalent SQLs have been provided in this blog so that you can understand what's happening out here. As you can see, the queries are run using evaluate expression. Select column is another function which can return you a table with the selection of columns what you want and we order by something which we don't frequently use in Power BI because we use the visual sorting and visual sorting internally applies that order by but here you can explicitly call order by function. Then show data preview in the quick measure then it will generate a query for you Dex query and you can run that. Two more examples. Then you have a define 
with the references if you have a major and you want to define its references then you have an option when you are running the query so you can see that def references has been defined you can change the definition a little bit while uh, doing uh, the evaluation of that particular uh, major in the dex view so you, as you can see some of the majors have been changed and it is asking do you want to update or override those majors I may or may not want that I'm just experimenting it here by changing it what would happen so you have a place where you can experiment with how your different majors or different combination of the definition is going to result in the data and then a uh, few more things have been explained here what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give you this link and now time has come that we should jump onto the Power BI desktop. So I am here on my Power BI desktop. So first of all, let me tell you how you can enable this feature. To enable this feature, go to File, Options and Setting, Options. And inside the preview feature, enable text query view. And you can press OK. I already have enabled it so I can press cancel and come out. Now, as you can see, I am seeing a fourth option on my left hand side pane, which is nothing but text query. I can click on it, and as you can see in this pane, I have on the right hand side data pane. Where I can see my tables. I can click on the model and see my semantic model. I can see the uh, query pane and it already has given a default query. I have a customer table and it's saying evaluate top 100 customer and I can run it and I can see my customers here top 100 customers. Let's try something and evaluate customer. And I can simply evaluate customer. So what we need here is basically we need to return a table as long as we are giving something which is giving us table, we will be able to get the data. Now let me go ahead and try then how do I simply get a total of a major. So I have a major net and how do I get the value of that? So let me say evaluate At the moment I say evaluate, it gives me summarize columns, net, net major. I can tell you one more way we have something known as row and you can run with the row also so row function also you can use in the row you can give major what I can do here is I can go ahead and write down one more which is gross and gross major so I'm able to see the definition if you remember you have seen one option here when you right clicked define and evaluate so now it is defining and then evaluating so let's run this it's net now let, can I change the definition let's say I multiply it by 2 so I can change my definition now it is asking the moment it sees that you have changed the definition it is asking do you want to change it if I want to click here it will get updated but I don't want to update this definition. What I'm going to do here is let me search do I have an MTD major? And let me say right click, define and evaluate. The major have been defined, and what I'm going to do here is basically let me check test it out first of all. So it's working now. In the summarize column, let me also add a date column. So let me call date of date and comma and let me run this and now I need an order by also here order by date ascending let's try that out so as you can see I am able to get the data in a particular order and you can see for the month of November it is adding up and as you can see MTD is in action here the values are increasing and the first date again there is a reset happening and post that again the values are increasing now what I would like here is I have this MTD major let me want what I want to do is I want to change it to let's say uh, 
a different calculation let's say total mtd so i'm changing the definition completely and i'm calling the net here the first argument i'm giving net and the second argument i'm giving date of date so this is also one way i can create it and the moment i do the definition change it is uh, giving me that uh, do i want to update it so first let me run it so seems correct to me let me update this into the model the this action can't be undone me i say okay confirm i want to do that now what we are going to do is we are going to go back to our report view here. and you can see now it is total mtd let me do one thing i want to create one more major here so i copy paste this or let me let me call it as gross mtd so i'm creating gross mtd and here i'm going to take gross major then i'll add one more which is gross fogs mtd and i'll say cogs fogs mtd now you can see previously it was showing update uh in the model now it is saying update model add new major update model add new majors and i can click here and these majors are not available in my model and i'll be able to add those now one more thing i can do is if i have a file where i don't have these majors i want to take it and let's say i doesn't have a definition with me what can i do so for that what we can do here is basically i can right click on a table and i say quick queries define all majors in this table so it has given me all the majors in this table now i can go here and paste it in another file and if that particular file doesn't have those majors i will get those that option of define 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 and by clicking on that i will be able to create all those majors into that new file we have options on the top so there are few options on the top like format query comment uh, uncomment find replace a uh, command palette so let me do one thing let me see how this format query can help so let me write down evaluate summarize sales date table i want to take month year date table i want to take month year sort then let me take one major which is underscore one or let me call it as net only here net comma net gross renaming and then the gross major so the group by is doesn't require a rename but we need a renaming for the majors the expressions so i'm getting my value now i'll go and use this shift alt shift f or i can click alt shift f and as you can see the query got formatted in a better shape and in this manner you can create formatted query let me say comment the entire query get commented let me use uncomment the entire query got uncommented i want to find out do i have a date somewhere in this query as you can see it got highlighted and then i can find out where the occurrences are so let's run few more queries let's use summarize columns summarize columns and we say date month month year comma date month year sort comma net net order by month year sort and let's run this query we can also run select columns evaluate select columns and we need to give a table name so we say sales and after that let me give a new name let's say we call give a name city and and i'll bring in sales city id let me give a name gross and bring in sales gross amount 
I just wanted to select a couple of columns and let me select and evaluate. I'm able to do that. So this one is not grouping. It's just a select column. It doesn't have a grouping. So all those various uh, complex stuff which you have seen in the past, you can go ahead and try that out. One more thing which I would like to try is basically whenever we create a visual. So if I go ahead and create a visual, Power BI is also generating a DAX. So if you go to the view and enable the performance analyzer, you will be able to see that DAX query. We would like to get that DAX query and experiment with that. So let me create a table visual out here. So I'll go to date. I'll put in month here. And along with month here, I will use net gross And now let me do one thing is let me go to the performance analyzer, click on start recording. Now use the refresh visual. And you can see I have Dex query, visual display, and other. And here there is an option for copy query run in Dex query view. So this is a new option which has been added. And let me click on that. And you can see a new query tab has been added here. And I got the complete query in the DAX query view. And I can run this. It's already ran, but I let me run it again. I can see date, month year, month year sort. And now you understand why you were able to sort on month year correctly without bringing in month year sort into the visualization because so once you set up a sort column, that sort column is also getting added. Then you have a grand total row and then there is a other data which is which is not grand total. There is a false for that. And if you see here, we have a summarized column rollups which has been used and values top 500 two values have been queried and the rollup is helping us to get a grand total row here. So in this manner, you can go ahead and play around with the new DEX query view, go ahead and try that out and do let me know your feedback on this new Power BI feature released on November 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.